Hello, this is um, a follow on from the last video that I created in which I claimed that everything that has happened at this, at this time is about pushing forward with smart cities agendas and integrated um, transport. Now, I believe that the whole Brexit thing was nothing more than another psyop in the game and it's part of the agenda that there would be no deal uh, amongst those cretins in the House of Liars. Everything that's happened is a coordinated effort to bring about an agenda and it's the illusion, the illusion of democracy. Are you aware that the company who was solely responsible for the vote and the mainstream media reviews is the same company that is pushing the smart city agenda in the UK? The Canadian Pension Plan Investment Board invests in oil, gas, electricity, petrochemicals, infrastructure, 5G technology, communication technology and real estate and owns more real estate in the UK than in Canada or the rest of Europe. It's a consortium that includes OMERS, which stands for Ontario Municipal Employees Retirement System, and Ontario Teachers Pension Plan, and holds shares in a huge amount of companies. Now, they also own 48% of Arkiva, who in turn are the UK's preeminent national provider of TV and radio broadcasting infrastructure. They're the leading provider of infrastructure services and the leading investor in 5G infrastructure via the small cells antenna systems. And they're also the leading smart meter contractor. They've got a, they're the contracted to many councils councils to roll out five G cell towers. Um, they provide smart meters for water, gas, and electricity. Now, in two thousand and seventeen, Arkiva began the sale of its UK mobile wireless masts, and they snapped up the license for twenty eight gigahertz spectrum, which has already been trialed abroad. And they plan to deliver smart meters to millions of homes over the next few years. Arkiva and Samsung held the first 5G field test in the UK in 2017. Now this is where it gets really interesting because in 2013 when Omer's bought Civica, which is the digital partner of 140 schools, 50 unis, 275 healthcare departments, 75% of blue light services, Civica also partnered 20 government departments including the Foreign Office and the Commonwealth Office. I'm saying that this was they've sold it since, but bear with me. Now, Savika was also the digital partner of Manchester Council and had links to the Manchester Arena when that terror attack took place. They were in charge of revenue for Grenfell Tower. They partnered Westminster when London attacks took place and they owned Brussels Airport when that reported attack took place as well. Now, who does the Electoral Commission employ to take control of the Brexit votes? Savika, which, which they counted on to build the web application during the referendum which was built in just 12 weeks and was used in 382 regional areas to give notifications, vote results and the analysis of the referendum. This company that linked to so many reported events. So this company that was bought for 635 million was sold four years later for a whopping 1.27 1.72 billion that's why i believe that the 50 50 vote was a tactic to make the public believe that we are in fact a divided nation so to put it bluntly the companies involved in the vote can't be trusted the government are merely playing a role in the charade and the push is to get the public to take to the streets because treason mayhem has signed a deal that brings in foreign troops post-Brexit in the case of social unrest, ensuring that the global smart city agenda is implemented. What's going to happen when pro and anti-Brexit voters meet on the street with their yellow jackets on? I think we can uh, imagine what will happen. And just like the Paris protests, as I've stated in my last video, a meeting was held between the UN, the French government, oils and banks just prior to the protests to set the stage. The damage to speed cameras, toll booths and pavements is of no uh, consequence or importance because they want them removed anyway to pave the way for the smart integrated roads, of which they will then be obsolete anyway. And the same thing will happen in France. PESCO. Yeah, 
Macron's baby, uh, the UN troops, will be employed on the street. Now, given the background of the organisation or involved in the Brexit vote and the fact that they are pushing the smart city agenda and what's going on in Paris as well, I think people should seriously start to take note and, and ask themselves some questions. Thank you for listening. I'm Annie Logical. Stay safe and just look at what's going on behind the scenes. Thanks for listening.